The plan has somewhat derailed. How shall we proceed? I fear that may be a problem, my liege. This opponent was more skilled than I'd initially estimated. I shall see how quickly I can. Why are you never told to keep your eyes on your opponent during a fight? If so, that will explain your terrible swordsmanship. Understood, my liege. I shall act accordingly. Tell me, what's with the priest and sword gimmick? Is it a same thing, like the sword of God? If so, I will respect the dedication. My gimmick, your highness, is simple. I am Lionheart, the protector of Paris, and you've chosen the wrong. Do not waste my liege's time with your ramblings, mongrel. I would say that there are nicer ways of getting my attention, Peter. But I've been told that you prefer much younger company. What? <laughs> Score 1 for lying out and 0 for the pedophile. Oh, I almost lost track of you, my liege. Care to have a dance. I've said who I am. I go by Lionheart. And your man servant over there is a former hunter who went under the alias of Peter before you got to him. I work for no one. I just so happen to be very good at finding things out. Such things happen to be about your identity and your history. Yes, I do know about you, which is why I had the sense to bring along some charms to prevent your magic from working on me. Mercy. But Vatari will get you nowhere. I know what you've done, and I intend on taking you in to have the proper authorities deal with you for your crimes. Or, does the monarch know how to handle a sword? Be sure not to cut yourself, your majesty. I fear that I don't really know how to, as you say, shut up. This concept is so foreign to me. What's such a bold flirt, my liege? How about this? If you win, I'll let you put my mouth to better use. If, make no mistake, I fully intend to send you to prison for your crimes. Such is what happens when you break the law. Speaking of, what did you steal from the Fate Company? <laughs> Not even a hint. I thought we were friends, my liege. We were getting along so well. Come now. No one steals from one of the most well-known international arcane tech companies for no reason. What was your end game? You don't seem like that type of person. Please. You have to trail. Between removing a well known hunter from his post, waking out a deadly assassin, and traveling across Europe causing more trouble, it was not hard to learn about you and your team here. Back to the question behind all of this why go through all this trouble? Stealing for profit? No. You seem like the type just to make someone give you what you want. Are you stealing the tech to build something? Not even an answer. I'm almost impressed. Just because I can talk for the both of us doesn't mean I wouldn't like a conversation. Come now. I'm sure something must be on your mind that you'd like to tell me.
my outfit. You like? That's helpful. But every superhero does need a gimmick. So when your magic only allows you to transform into a lion, your superhero seems starts to become very limited. I disagree. If people like you exist and our world gives everyone the power to stop those who do harm, then wanting to be a hero doesn't seem so childish. Then let me draw him, my liege. It's better than becoming cold and unfeeling. The world needs less people like that. <laughs> if I'm so foolish, then how come I'm not dead yet? Ah. I take it that was Mr. Bullard? That was a little disappointing. I was thought he was a perfect marksman. It can't be true if he missed that shot. Mr. Bullard wasn't aiming to kill. What? <laughs> What shall I do with him, my dish? Are you sure it's a good idea to leave him alive? He'll be a proper nuisance later. You dare to doubt our liege's will? I hadn't asked you, priest. Again, our liege shows how far reaching their plans extend past your feeble understanding, Mr. Pollard. I swear, if you stop breaching, I'm going to fucking shoot you in the head. Of course, my leash. Oh. Where am I? Ah. If it isn't my guardian angel, I take it that I see that you appear to not be in a good mood. Wait, wait, wait. Before you start to get into cussing me, I really did think that I had things under control. After I took down the priest, I didn't expect him to get back up. My kicks usually have that effect on normal people. Okay, yes, he was a former hunter, so in hindsight, he would have been tougher than I thought. But he also moved less like an actual human, so he took me off guard. Okay, so the shooter took me by surprise. I had sent him a while ago, but I had got lost in the fight that I forgot about him for a moment. Banter and quips help in a fight, I love you know. It shows personality and gets someone to lower their guard so that you can exploit their weaknesses. Well, yes, I suppose like they all did while I was talking. Okay, yes, I will do better next time. These people aren't obviously looking to play games. I'm fine, Angel. The priest only knocked me out. I do find it odd as well. They are not known for leaving witnesses, so sparing my life is an interesting break from their pattern. More should be afoot, but for now... Did you find out what they stole from Fate? What does that do? A superconductor for magic? That kind of technology doesn't exist yet. The only thing that is close enough to be a magical superconductor is that of a demon. So it was faulty. Then why steal it? 
Do you know who made the prototype? Fate stealing designs from a foreign company. We'll add that to the list of things to pin them down for. Tempus in the stories, huh? It seems he might have a lead. I do plan on following up with this. Who else will? You are right. I do not have the means of being able to travel. But I do know someone who can get us the information we need to know about what Tempest Industries is trying to do with a superconductor. And from there, we can follow up on what Liege and their followers might be up to. They might have left the city, but we should try to at least do something. Or else they could wreak havoc somewhere else. The point of being a superhero is to protect those we can, however we can. How can I do that and ignore these people when they could be planning something? I know. It seems arduous, but I'm committed to this. Will my guardian angel help me? Merci, angel. <laughs>